Let's make a basic toddler size beanie. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a very basic toddler size beanie. Toddler size being between the ages of one and four years old. Depending on your child, they might have a bigger head, a smaller head, or an average size head, but that age range between one and four years old is generally where that toddler size comes into play. If at any point in this video you do like what you see, please push that thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel and click that bell. That way you get notified whenever I release a brand new video. I try to release a brand new video every single Friday covering a wide range of different types of crochet projects, and you're not gonna wanna miss out. The pattern for this toddler size beanie was created by Sarah with Repeat Crafter Me. I love all of her patterns. She just makes them so simple, but yet so cute. I will include a link to this exact pattern we'll be using on the bottom of the screen here. If you'd like to pause the video, write that down, go to that website and print off her free pattern. Go ahead and do that now, or I will include a link to this pattern in both the notes section and the comment section below. All you have to do is click on that link. It'll take you directly to the pattern where you can print it out and be ready to crochet with me. Once you've printed out that pattern, let's go ahead and dive right into what materials you're gonna need to make this beanie. The materials that you're gonna need to make this toddler size beanie include a size four weighted, worsted weight, or Aran yarn that is non-textured. You will need approximately 102 yards or approximately 94 meters of yarn. I have two colors right here because I am going to make the border of the beanie, this darker blue color, and the main body of the beanie, this lighter blue color. This is not a requirement. You can absolutely, absolutely use the same color for both the border and the main body of the beanie. But I'm just going to do two colors to show you how it's done if that's something you're interested in doing. Uh, choose a yarn that is going to be soft to your skin, something you think would be really comfortable to wear uh, when you're looking down the yarn aisle or even in your own little craft room stash of yarn. Find something that's going to be really comfortable to wear, okay? You're going to want a crochet hook size H8 or 5 millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, a yarn needle or tapestry needle just to help you weave in your ends at the end of the beanie. And some people would really like to use a stitch marker, row marker to help guide them from row to row. Uh, it's again optional, uh, but some people really like it. Some people find they don't need it. So other than that, go ahead and gather your materials and let's get started making this beanie. Okay, this beanie is worked in rounds. So to begin this beanie, you can either start with the magic ring or the chain two method. Both techniques will get you in the same spot. They both will do the same thing. I'm fond of the chain two method, so that's what I'm going to do. You start with a, a tail long enough to weave in your end at the end. Create your slip knot. Attach your crochet hook. And we're ready to go. So I'm going to chain two, or you can go ahead and create your magic ring. One, two. Row one of your beanie wants you to put 11 double crochets in that first chain, or if you're doing the magic ring, it wants you to put 11 double crochets inside that magic ring. So we're gonna yarn over, insert our crochet hook in that first chain, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. There's one double crochet. Let's make 10 more, same chain, two, three, four, and 11. Right there. Good. Okay. So we're going to close row one by slip stitching onto the top of your first double crochet. So not the chain two. The chain twos in this pattern do not count as a stitch. Okay. So not the chain two, but we're looking at that first double crochet we made, put our crochet hook on the top of that double crochet, yarn over, pull through, and pull all the way through for a slip stitch, and that closes round one. Perfect. We're going to chain two, one, two. Again, the chain two does not count as a stitch. 
For row two, you're going to make two double crochets in each stitch all the way around. You should end row two with 22 double crochets. Okay, so yarn over. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, 21, and 22. So counting is going to be, be very important in the process of making this beanie because if you don't count, you might actually find yourself falling short on stitches, which will affect the size of your beanie and the look of your beanie. So in this process, I will make sure I include how many stitches you should have at the end of each row. That way you can count your stitches as you complete that row to make sure that you are on count and just in sync with the pattern. Okay. Now that we have reached 22 double crochets, we're going to slip stitch into the top of the very first double crochet. Remember, we're not counting that chain two. So looking for that first double crochet, very top of it. And we're going to slip stitch to close round two of our beanie. Boom, there we go. Chain two, one, two. For round three of our beanie, it is a repeat pattern. So you're going to put two double crochets in the first stitch and then one double crochet in the second stitch and repeat. Then two, one, two, one. You're gonna repeat this pattern all the way around this round three. You're going to end round three with 33 double crochets. All right, here we go. One, two, and then one. One, two, one. One, two, one. Thirty-one, thirty-two, and 33, great. Okay, so slip stitch on the top of that first double crochet to close round three. Round four, we're gonna chain two. Round four's pattern is going to be two double crochets in the first stitch and then one double crochet in the next two stitches. And then two, one, one, two, one, one. You're gonna repeat this pattern all the way round four, ending round four with 44 double crochets. All right, here we go. Same stitch we just slip stitched into. One, two, and then one, one. Repeat. One, two, and then one, 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 two, one, one, forty one, forty two, forty three, and 44, perfect. Okay, slip stitch to close round four. Beautiful. All right, I wanna take a second, guys, to I, or show you how to identify your rows or count your rows if you ever continue this beanie on and you get lost and you're like, oh, dang, what row am I on? I don't, I lost count. So when you're looking at your rounds, your circles, each circle, is one round. So what's great about this pattern is it's really easy to identify each circle shape. There's like these really nice lines, defined lines, dividing up each row. So all you have to do is count. Okay, so the center one is row or round one. Then round two. Round three, 
round four. So that means we are about to do round five. So if you're looking at the pattern, it makes it really easy to identify where you're at and what step is next for you to do. So for round five, here's the repeat pattern. We're gonna, well, we're gonna chain two, like we always do. Always start a new round by chaining two. Okay, for round five, we're going to put two double crochets in the first stitch, but then we're going to put one double crochet in the next 10 stitches. And that's the new repeating pattern. Two double crochet in the first, one double crochet in the next 10, and then two double crochet in that stitch, and then one double crochet in the next 10. You should end round five with 48 double crochets. All right, here we go. One, two, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and then two, one, two, and then one in the next 10. You got the repeat. You're good. Two, three, 47 and 48. Great, okay, slip stitch to close round five. Chain two. So for round six, we're going to put two double crochets in the first stitch and then one double crochet in the next 11 stitches. And that's the new repeating round, okay? So two double crochets in the first, one double crochet in the next 11, then two, and then one in the next 11, and then two, one in the next 11. You should end round six with 52 double crochets. One, two, and then one in the next 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Great, and then two, one, two, and then one in the next 11. One, two, 51 and 52. Great, okay, slip stitching to close, round six. For round seven, we're going to chain two, one, two. Round seven's repeat pattern is two double crochet in the first stitch and then 12 or one double crochet in the next 12 stitches, and then repeat. Two double crochet, and then one double crochet in the next 12 stitches. Repeat that pattern all the way around. You should end round seven with 56 double crochets. So here we go. One, two, and then one double crochet in the next 12. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, great, and then two, one, two, and then one double crochet in the next 12. And just repeat that 
all the way around. One, two, 53, 54, 55, and 56. Great, okay, slip stitch on the top of that first double crochet. Closing off round seven. For round eight, we're going to chain two, one, two. Round eight's repeat pattern is two double crochet in the first stitch and then one double crochet in the next 13 stitches. And then repeat, two double crochet and then one double crochet in the next 13 stitches. Repeat this pattern all the way around round eight and you will end round eight with 60 double crochets. Here we go. One, two, and then one double crochet in the next 13. One, two, 59, and 60. Great. Okay, slip stitching on the top to close off round eight. All right, round nine through round 14, we're going to chain two, and you're going to put one double crochet in each stitch all the way around. So we have just finished expanding our beanie. We are now ready to just add to the length of our beanie. And all we need to do in order to just add length to the beanie is put one double crochet in each stitch all the way around. Okay, so you should end each round, round 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14, should all end with 60 double crochets in them. If you wanted to check every now and then just to make sure you're staying on count, that would be a great idea. So go ahead and continue on and I will meet you at the end of round 14 to show you what to do next. Okay, great. Once you have finished round 14, we are now ready to make the ear flaps. If you don't want ear flaps on your beanie, then at this point, all you'd have to do is cut off your yarn long enough for a tail to weave in your ends and your beanie is done. If you do want to make the ear flaps, we are ready to move on to our very first. So the ear flaps are actually done with single crochets. We are done using the double crochet stitch. You will just chain one single crochet in the very same stitch that you slip stitched into to close round 14. So one, and you will single crochet in the next nine stitches. So you want a total of 10 single crochets. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Great. Chain one. Turn your beanie. So now you are facing the, the inside of the beanie is right here. You're going to single crochet decrease or two single crochet tog these first two stitches. So insert your crochet hook into the first stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Insert your crochet hook into the second stitch. Yarn over, pull through. So you have three loops on your crochet hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. And that is a two single crochet tog or a single crochet decrease. Okay, one single crochet in the next six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. You should end this row with two single crochets. Go ahead and two single crochet tog or sing single crochet decrease the last two stitches. Boom. And you are done with that row two of our ear flap. Chain one and turn. So we are now facing the outside of the beanie. 
You're going to single crochet, one single crochet in each stitch across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, chain one, turn the beanie so you are looking at the inside of the beanie. Okay, you will definitely see a trend or a pattern developing. If you are working a row, looking at the inside of the beanie, you will decrease single crochet the first two stitches and the last two stitches with one single crochet in each stitch in between. If you are working a row and you're looking at the outside of the beanie, you're just putting one single crochet in each stitch all the way across. So you are only decreasing when you're looking at the inside of the beanie and working the row. Okay, so we're gonna keep this going. This is going to be row four of our ear flap. Decrease single crochet. Then one, two, three, four, leaving two stitches behind, and then single crochet decrease those last two stitches together. Boom. Chain one to turn, that's our turning chain. Turning our beanie over. We are looking at the outside of the beanie, so one single crochet in each stitch all the way across. Okay, chain one, turn, single crochet decrease the first two, single crochet one, single crochet in the middle two stitches, and single crochet decrease the last two stitches. Chain one, turn our work. Okay, looking at the outside of the beanie, one single crochet in each stitch all the way across. Chain one, turning our work. You should have a total of four single crochets on this row. We are now at row two, four, six, seven. So we're working row eight right now. Going to put a single crochet decrease, first two stitches, single crochet decrease, the last two stitches, chain one, turn. Okay, at this point we are on row nine of our ear flap. There should only be two stitches left here. I like a very rounded ear flap. So what I do is I just do one last single crochet decrease for row nine to make it more rounded. If you want a more pointed ear flap, what you could do is just put one single crochet in each stitch, so one, two, then chain one, turn your work and decrease in the last stitch and that will make a more pointed ear flap. But for row nine, I just decrease single crochet that last two stitches together to make it a more rounded ear flap, okay? I'm going to grab my scissors, cutting a long tail so I can weave in my ends, yarn over, pull through that loop, and pull tight for a slip knot. Great. Okay, ear flap number two. Move your beanie to the other side. So you want ear flap number one facing the table. You want the beanie open part facing or to be up facing up. Okay. Rule of thumb for ear flap number two. There is really no set stitch to attach it to. It's really going to be up to you. So depending on where you want to adjust this beanie to, what you want to focus on, the most important part that you want to focus on is the front of the beanie where your eyes are and your forehead is. This side of the beanie needs to be longer 
than the back side of the beanie. The back side of the beanie where the back of your head is, the back of your neck, it, it needs to be shorter because this side of your face needs more room, okay? So about two of these back will equal one of the front, okay? That's kind of where I gauge. So taking your same color yarn for ear flap number two, making enough slack or of a tail so you can weave in your end, create your slip knot, attach your crochet hook, okay? And I'm going to insert my crochet hook right there on the side closest to me because it lines up with that ear flap. Okay, get all that out of the way so you can see better. I'm going to slip stitch into this stitch to attach my yarn to the project. There's my tail. Okay, going to chain one, single crochet into that same stitch that I just slip stitched into, one. And that is my first single crochet of this 10 single crochets I need to make for row one. So again, 10 single crochets. So there's one, two, three, nine, 10. Chain one, turn our work. So we're looking at the inside of the beanie and when we are looking at the inside of the beanie, that means we're going to be decreasing the first two stitches and decreasing the last two stitches. So one, two, yarn over, pull through. There's our first decrease. One single crochet in the next six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, then one single crochet decrease for these last two stitches. Perfect. We are done with row two of our ear flap. Chain one, turning our work. We are working the outside of the beanie, so that's just one single crochet in each chain all the way across. Great. Chain one, turning our work. We're now working row four. Row four, we are going to decrease the first two stitches. Single crochet in the next four stitches. Two, three, four. Decrease single crochet. Chain one, turn our work. Outside of the work, one single crochet in each stitch all the way across. This is row five. Chain one, turn our work. Row six, decrease the first two. One single crochet in the next two stitches. Decrease the last two. Chain one, turn our work. Okay, looking at the outside, one single crochet in each stitch across. One, two, three, four. This is row seven, so row eight. We're looking at the inside of the beanie, decreasing the first two, decreasing the last two. Chain one. Row nine, for me, I decrease row nine even though we're looking at the outside of the beanie because that gives that rounded ear flap. If you want to, you can just put one single crochet, one single crochet, chain one, turn the beanie, and then de decrease, and that makes a more pointed ear flap. Okay, grabbing our scissors, we're going to cut the yarn, long enough tail to weave in our ends, yarn over, pull through. And if you want to, you can reinsert your crochet hook in that top corner, grab the yarn, pull through for another loop, yarn over, pull through that loop. And that's just a second slip knot. If you feel like that first slip knot wasn't quite enough and you want to add a second one, that's how you would do it. Okay, so we have just finished 
making the main body of our beanie, making the main body of our beanie, making our two ear flaps. Last thing that we need to do is to clean up the sides of our ear flaps with a border, okay? So I'm gonna make the border with this darker blue color just so it's easier to see and they're really good complementary colors. Uh, if you want to continue making the border of your beanie the exact same color that you made the rest of the beanie, kind of like I did here with this pink beanie, you can absolutely do that. It makes a very clean look and it finishes everything off really, really well. Okay? But for some more fun, you can also do the second color. Okay, we begin. So I'm gonna fold the beanie in half this way. See how this is the longer part? This is the shorter part. I'm going to make it so the shorter part is on top, okay? Looking at the outside of the beanie, shorter part, ear flaps. Grabbing color number two. Long enough tail to weave in our ends, make our slip knot, attach our crochet hook. Okay, I attach this second yarn to the project right at where ear, the ear flap on the right attaches to the main part of the beanie. So right at this corner where they both attach with each other, that's where I'm gonna insert my crochet hook or yarn over the color and slip stitch to attach the yarn to the project. Chain one, single crochet in that same stitch I just slip stitched into. And I'm going to make one single crochet in each stitch all the way up until the next ear flap. So go ahead and do that and I'll meet you right at the beginning of the left-sided ear flap. And right at where they both join, right there is where I'm going to stop. Okay, so with the ear flaps, I know that I made nine rows. So it's important to know, did you stop at row nine or did you go to row 10? Okay, so I've made nine rows. On the side of each row, I'm going to put one single crochet. So I should have nine single crochets going up this row. Okay, so finding row number one. Here we go. There's one. Row number two. Okay. Two. Row number three. Three. Row number four. Row number five. Row number six. Row number seven. Row number eight and row number nine. Right here is my row number nine, okay? So at the top of row number nine, I'm going to put four single crochets, okay? So there's one, two, three, and moving over to the other side, four. So this tail will just kind of keep out. We'll weave that in at the very end of the project. So the fourth single crochet will be the very first single crochet for this side of the ear flap, okay? So the first single crochet was the ninth single crochet coming up the side. Two single crochets helped us to get over to the other side smoothly with a very nice smooth transition and that fourth single crochet is the first single crochet for this side. So we know again there's nine rows so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and 
nine. Boom. Now look at how clean that ear flap looks. All because we knew there were nine rows and that each row needed one single crochet on the side of it. It really helped everything be very clean and smooth. Okay, now we have reached the main body of the beanie. So you're going to just put one single crochet in each stitch all the way across and I will meet you at the base of ear flap number two. You're doing great. Keep it up, you're almost done. Okay, we've made it to the base of this beanie right here. Again, we know that there are nine rows. Each row is gonna get one single crochet on the side of that row. So row one, row two, row three, row four, row five, row six, row seven, row eight, and row nine. So here I have, I can either choose to put it here or the very top. I'm gonna choose to put my crochet hook in that very top space. So there's my ninth single crochet for my ninth row on this side. Two single crochets to help me turn to the other side. And then one single crochet to start my nine rows on this side. So a total of four single crochet in that tip top corner right there. Again, leaving this flap out so I can weave that end in later. Okay, so two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Great. Okay, we have met back up with where we started. We're going to slip stitch on the top of that very first single crochet. Full slip stitch, grabbing our scissors, long enough tail so we can weave in our ends. Okay, grab that tail, yarn over, pull through the loop for our slip knot. Boom. You are done, guys. You are done with your beanie. Yay! The only thing that you would have left to do is just weave in your ends to clean it up. If you want to, you can add a pom-pom on the top. If you want to, you can add the fringe braids off of these ear flaps. That's totally up to you. Whatever you want to do to personalize this beanie and make it more yours. Well, there you go. There is your basic toddler size beanie. I hope you had a lot of fun making your toddler size beanie with me today. If you did, you will also really like these videos right here. Also check out this video, which is just a recommended video for you to watch. Thank you so much for crocheting with me today. I hope you have an amazing day and I will see you with my next video. Bye guys.